Right, hello and welcome to uh, the weirdest video you'll ever see, I think. Um, basically, a few of you have been uh, showed an interest in when I mentioned that I could show you how to do a sex change on the baby. Um, so basically, I'm doing one on this little boy, little girl, boy. Um, and I thought, well, I'll show you while I'm, while I'm doing it. So um, what I have is... Um, a willy basically I'm going to call it a willy because I don't like um, calling them other things really but um, so basically what I did was I sculpted in clay I don't have the original sculpt but basically I sculpted in clay um, hang on, it's got hair on it. Um, a willy that, that was about the right size for this baby it's quite a big baby so um, it's quite a big one um, I won't go into sort of like pictures of them or how to sculpt them because we'll cover that in the main uh, sculpting video um, when we come to that bit. But basically what I did was I sculpted it in clay. So if you imagine this is in clay, then I got a, um, a beaker, um, a, a pot, basically um, probably one of these but you can make a much smaller one um, if, if it's a smaller one you can you can use a much smaller beaker um, something kind of this size and and you just place it in the bottom so you, you make the you make the uh, sculpt flat even if you're going to have it rounded you make it flat so you sculpt it you sculpt the the whole of it obviously now, um, then I popped it into, if you imagine this is smaller, the bottom of a, um, a tub. And then I literally just um, poured silicon into the tub. Actually, I must have used this size of one. I mustn't have had anything else. I used dragon skin, which is the same um, silicon that you use when you're doing your, um, your, 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 uh, your moulds. Uh, except you're using it as a pouring silicon instead of um, instead of just using it as a glove. Um, I did degas it because I didn't want any bubbles around here. Uh, and I when one when I when I started pouring the silicon in, I did a bit of brushing just to make sure there were no bubbles on the surface or anything like that. So basically, I put the clay clay um, object in, poured around it. You, you could probably use one that size to be quite honest it's just it's what I had and uh, I ended up with a mold so I did the um, sculpt actually deeper than this I did the sculpt um, quite quite a bit deeper than this because I didn't know how much um, actual uh, padding I'd want on it so as you can see this has got quite a bit more but when I actually pour it I only pour into sort of like about two thirds of it. Um, I then roll it around so that there's quite a bit of excess so silicon at the side and then um, obviously let it let it um, cure and pull it out. I use the same silicon that I used for um, obviously for pouring the baby and I also use the same um, the same colour, the same pigment obviously. So, so basically I'm going to show you how to stick it on. So obviously this baby is a, is a baby girl, as you can see, um, and I'm going to um, change her into a boy. So um, the, it, it fits quite nicely around the, um, the bits. Uh, if I can zoom in. So what I'm going to do first of all is just literally paint um, some Platzel gel on the back of it. Uh, now, if you've seen quite a few of my videos, you'll know that I use Platzil gel quite a lot for fixing um, fixing things. So I'm going to use the same um, for this. Don't need a lot of it. So I'm going to um, switch this around. And I'm just going to use this clear because I don't need... It's going to just go as a, use it, be used as a glue basically right um, if I can find um, a, a, an old brush I'm just going to brush oh. 
what I was using earlier. It doesn't have to be fancy. I'm just going to brush this on the back of the uh, item. I bet you're all laughing at me now, sort of like with my 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 choice of words for this. But I mean, there's really no way of of saying it. And you know, there's no way I could have put this on YouTube. So it's a good thing it's a private uh, private viewing only on this app. If you hear bangs, for once it's not it's not caused by the dog. It's actually the fifth of November, so uh, it's obviously bonfire. Um, fireworks going out going off outside I'm very lucky in that my dogs um, are um, gun dogs they're Labradors so on the whole they're not too freaked out by fireworks well they're not at all actually so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just place it where I want it it's not highly detailed this little thing um, I don't really I don't really like spending a lot of time doing detail on such on on genitals um i i usually just do them so that they um they're just to to, to represent them if you know what i mean i'm gonna have to leave that it's gonna slide down now yeah so, so yeah, it's just to represent um, genitals, really. So what I'm going to do, I use basically, um, you'll probably have seen this again when I do fixing, I use um, rooting needles um, that this, this have, this have gone a bit blunt. Um, so instead of throwing them away, I put them in a little pot and I use them for fixing things. So I'm basically going to fix this in place all around now you'll never have seen anything quite so ridiculous as the look of this but you know Ooh. poor chappy it's not his fault this little lad's going to be called toby by his his mum so we'll we'll give him the <coughs> the dignity of giving him an actual name shall we Alright, little Toby, you okay there? So I'm just going to pin it all the way around so that it's in the right place. Um, and let it set, let it cure. Um, that seal's pretty pretty fast curing, so it shouldn't take too long. Poor little thing. It 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 does um, give you a sense of satisfaction, actually. I've got to say, doing this, especially when you've just come out of a, a an abusive marriage. There we are. Have you ever seen anything quite like that? So I'm going to leave that to cure and I'll be back. And we'll do more fun things. Tune in again for more things to do when you're bored. Right, I've actually decided to fast cure it just, just to add to the entertainment value of this. Um, I'm going to be um, putting the heat gun on it now. So yeah. Um, so when you tell people that you've just seen a video on a sex change on a baby where I pinned the genitals on and then put a heat gun on it, um, it just all adds to the, to the entertainment really. Okay.
Well, the edges of um, the glue, the um, silicon, have actually uh, cured. Um, I would imagine the middle bit probably hasn't done yet because it won't have actually got the heat on it. It would have been the edges, but that's okay. But it just means that we have to be really careful when taking the pins out that it doesn't move or force it you know, in any way. Now, taking the pins out, watch you've um, let it cool down quite a bit because uh, they are quite hot. So I just put them back into my pin pin tub, my wicked pin tub. So I use these pins a lot. Um, they're really handy because obviously they're no good for um, rooting anymore. But they're great for um, putting th holding things in place. So if ever you have to sort of do a hand transplant or a foot transplant or an anything transplant, they're very, very handy for pinning it in place, or even a, a head, because what I've done in the past sometimes is is um, mould the um, the body and limbs and the head separately, or add a, a different head to a to a body, which is perfectly okay to do as long as you obviously um, stick it on right. And this is how I do it. I, I um, use the silicon to fuse it and then um, pin it round. Interestingly, I, I've never found the answer to this. Um, people use um, this silicon, what's it, Silpoxy and, Sil and, and SAM32, right? I've got some SAM32 here. Now this is silicon glue and it's absolutely marvellous and it's very, very, very uh, strong. So it's great for mending um, moulds and things like that. Not use in in moderation on your baby because it's quite a bit it's quite a hard silicon so if you use it uh, you sort of like it fairly thickly to maybe I don't know for anything you'll find it it actually it, it actually um oh, that's just does something really stupid it's actually um cures very quite hard and um like a, like a piece of plastic so um, be careful about, well, I can show you from this stuff that's on the edge of the um, tube. But what I've never worked out is, right, if, why, why the stuff in the tube doesn't, doesn't harden? This air dries, it, it's not an A and B thing, there's no catalyst on it, it air dries. So... Uh, So if it air dries, obviously, um, you have to make sure you get the cap back on it really quickly on the tube. But so presumably if it's encased in something, it doesn't get to air and it doesn't dry. OK, so if you put a piece of silicon to a piece of silicon, like say a, a head onto a body. The air's not going to get to it, is it? So how is that going to cure if it's inside between two two pieces of silicon? That's what always confuses me. I, I I've never had an answer from that, even to people who really know, like Tom McLaughlin. Um, I know the edge of it will dry, but if you then peel it away, is it really going to be stuck? So anyway, so basically I don't use silpoxy for um, th that type of thing. I only use it for... Um, really mending mending moulds and just occasionally I'll use it for um I don't know why I'm talking about silpoxy now but but basically I'll sometimes use it for painting if there's a really difficult area but we'll talk about that at some different time. So this is basically it. It's just like a plastic. It's like it's like the stuff that you use in the bathroom um to seal the bath. It's quite hard uh, and you really don't want that on your baby. Um, you can dilute it and use it as a paint, and that's fine. It's not too bad. But if you're doing it in any great um, quantity, say you did it to fill a crease or something, you don't want a really hard blob of silicon on your baby. So basically, that I, I don't even know why I was talking about that. So anyway, I think that's what I was saying, because I wouldn't use Silpoxy for sticking genitals on because uh, for that reason, really, I don't know how it would cure 
if the air can't get to it. So anyway, so I've done that. It's cured. Uh, I used um, Platzil, Platzil gel, uh, which I use for a lot of my fixing. I won't, I won't bother going into any more in, into that. So basically, that's that. So we need to now um, hide the bits. It's not done too badly actually, but but I will um, add some 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 um, silicone around the edge that's thickened that that will make it into a, um, a completely um, invisible mend, if you know what I mean. So he hasn't got any, any join. So I'm going to put some of A and some of B, this is Platzil gel again, in a thing. I will go into um, into the fixing side a lot more when, when in the actual um, tutorials. But this is just this is just because I happen to be doing a sex change on him. So this is just A and B plat sill. And I'm going to put a teeny bit of pigment in because I want it to be uh, the same colour as the as the flesh. Okay, now, if I wasn't sort of a bit a bit short of time, I might just put some of this around um, thinly before I use the thicker thicker um, stuff. But I'm not going to. Um, I just put some. I just put some thickener in. That's uh, this again. This is Thyvex. Again, I'll go into this in more detail when we when we come to the fixing side uh, side of it. Right, okay, so it's uh, thick, but it's not really, really stiff. Um, I have to be really careful what, what words I use, don't I, really, for doing this. Right, I'm just going to add some around the edges. Somebody's uh, having a good time with the fireworks out there. I don't know how my cats are uh, reacting. The kittens. I uh, I got them all in when when the bangs started, um, and then I, I promptly trod on one of the kittens' tails by mistake. Well, obviously by mistake, and. It looked at me as if it thought I was trying to kill it. So I feel really bad. So I tried to grab him and, and say sorry, but he wasn't having it. So I've just left them to it really. So I need to um, I need to go down and uh, make sure he's still speaking to me. Um, right. So I've 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 thick I've I've applied the thickened. Um, I don't know why, but I just want to laugh. I, I, okay. I'm just not going to say any more because I just want to, I just want to giggle. There we are. So obviously the, underneath the sack, it, it, you don't have to smooth it too much, but the um, the top bit needs to be blended in with the with the actual um, uh, tummy, whatever you call it. Oh, somebody's at the door. I hope they don't come up and see my. Right, hang on. I'll come back in a sec. Right, okay. It was just a parcel. Um, I had this crazy idea to uh, to join a gym. Don't ask me what came over me. 
um, yesterday. So uh, I'm thinking the swimming really more than anything. So I uh, I ordered a, a bag. I thought I'm going to the gym. I need a bag. So I've bought a bag. So that's the first step, isn't it? Right. Okay. So that's that's quite nice. Um, so basically, yeah. So so like like when I'm doing the fixing, I'm dipping it in uh, basically solvents, just just um, Bob Ross thinner, and with a fan brush, just blending it, so that there's no brush marks or anything. The wetter, the better. That's a good one. That could be my new motto, couldn't it? The wetter, the better. Okay. Right, so that's that really. Um, that's all. That's all you do, and then obviously um, it needs to be cured again. And uh, my little girl May is now is now a boy, Toby. So May has been turned into Toby. So yeah. So I said I'd show you, and there you go. So I'll cure that, and then uh, we're done. Um, so there he is. Very proud of himself. Okay.